Hi everybody, it's Emmy. I'm hugely pregnant. I, I could give birth any day now, so um, like I said, I'm just trying to record videos while I can. Uh, today I decided to do um, some common chocolates. It's and I'm hoping that because they're common here, you, you may be able to find them where you are. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with this one. This one's called almond. <laughs> Almondo. Basically what these are, you've probably had them in your country, but not the Meiji kind, um, are just chocolate covered almonds. So, <laughs> but what makes this really, I think, unique to Japan is the packaging. So you unwrap the plastic and you take the plastic off. Next what you do is there's this little drawer that opens up this. And already you can see the chocolates inside. Well, they're about to fall out. So you pull the drawer and you open this little corrugated kind of paper and there are all of your chocolate almonds. Aren't they beautiful? So the presentation is really nice and you're, in oh, you're encouraged to save some for later rather than eating an entire bag of M&Ms or um, whatever they, candy may be, Skittles or something, you just tear open the bag and then you can't reseal them. This, you eat a couple, and then you can store some for later. So, I'll bite it in half so you can see what's inside. Mmm. <laughs> and there it is. So you have a really nice coating of milk chocolate. Very shiny. Um, kind of a softer texture. It doesn't have like a like a candy coating or anything. It's just chocolate and very shiny. And inside is an almond, a whole almond that's been roasted. So it's really good. I really love that. I think the key that makes it taste like the chocolate covered almonds that I am used to eating back home. Um, in the States, the almonds, I think, are not roasted, and so they taste, um, it tastes, it doesn't taste as toasted, so it tastes a little bit more healthy, maybe? This tastes very kind of gourmet, and maybe that's because of the packaging. To be honest, the packaging, I think, makes a really different, big difference in the experience of the, of the candy. Is another chocolate nut combination. Um, again, made by Meiji, called macadamia. <laughs> As you find when you come to Japan and you open Japanese products, usually there's a specific way to open it. And they're always really helpful, and it says akekuchi, right, right here, and um, tell you where to open it and how to do it properly. So you pull that like that, in this case, and then you lift it. It looks like this. So here you just peel this top off. Nine little chocolate bonbons. Cute, huh? So again, you're encouraged to save some for later. Much more kind of a preciousness about the chocolates and the way they're presented. So let's try it. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Not really good. Really delicious. So that tastes again quite special. Because the macad if you never had a macadamia nut, you really should try them. They're delicious, really rich um nut comes from Hawaii. And um they're really, really, really have an interesting texture, kind of firm but, um, and a really nice richness, similar to like a walnut, but not as strong a flavor. But, um, so yeah, that's basically milk chocolate, more like a truffle with, um, a macadamia nut inside. Really yummy. Hmm. It's chocolate, morinaga chocolate. But the kanji, I don't know if it's yama or ko. Anyways, it's this one. So, 
This again is a combination of nuts and chocolate because I think it's a classic combination and it's really delicious and it's sort of ubiquitous worldwide, right? Wherever you go in the world it always seems like chocolate and nuts are just a good combination. They're best friends. So open it from here. You see several, several packages. And let's take one. So portion control and serving size is excellent. So they're like little sticks. Looks kind of like tree bark. Really small. So now let's try it. Mmm. And they're delicious. So this tastes like um it's almond and has nuts, like little nuts in there, but it also has little pieces of uh, rice crisp in it. So it's a bit like a mmm like a Nestle crackle or um like a crunch bar or one of those um crackle bars that have like the rice crisp in there. That's what it looks like. Like the melt chocolate's melting on me. But it's good. And, and the portion sizes are tiny. You know, you get four. So maybe you can find these at your local Asian market. And if you do, let me know what you think. Anyways, okay. Hope you found that informative. Hope you found or learned something. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Okay, take care. Bye.